Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to find all continuous functions f mapping real numbers into real numbers such that f of x plus y over 4 to the power of 4 equal to fx times fy for all real numbers x and y. To solve this problem, we are going to do some substitution such that we can convert these functional equations into Cauchy functional equations. First, if we add x is any real numbers and y equal to 0, then we have fx over 4 to the power of 4 equal to fx times f0. And now we are looking for the possible values of f0. By substituting x equal to 0 into these functional equations, we have f0 to the power of 4 equal to f0 times f0. These equations equivalent with these equations. The only numbers that satisfy these equations are 0, 1, or minus 1. In case f0 equal to 0, by substituting this value into these functional equations, we have fx over 4 to the power of 4 equal to 0 which is equivalent with f of x over 4 equal to 0 for any real number x. If we take any real number s and we substitute x equal to 4s, so we have fs equal to 0 for any real number s. Of course, fs equal to 0 is a trivial solution for the functional equations on the problem. In case L0 equal to 1 or minus 1, if we take any two real numbers S and T and we substitute X equal to S plus T into these functional equations, so we have Fs plus T over 4 to the power of 4 equal to Fs plus T times F0. Since F0 is equal 1 or minus 1, so we have this quantity equal to Fs plus T or minus Fs plus T. For simplicity, I just write as plus minus fs plus t. By the functional equations on the problem, we can replace fs plus t over 4 to the power of 4 with fs times ft. So we have plus minus fs plus t equal to fs times ft. Since fs times ft can be written as fs times ft or minus fs times minus ft, so we have these functional equations. This functional equation shows that plus minus fs satisfy Cauchy exponential equations. The only continuous solutions of the Cauchy exponential equations are plus minus fs equal to 0 or plus minus fs equal to c to the power of s, which c is positive real number. Since f0 is equal 1 or minus 1, so plus minus fs equal to 0 is not possible. So we have plus minus fs equal to c to the power of s, which c is positive number. So we have fs equal to c to the power of s or fs equal to minus c to the power of s. And it's very, very easy to check that for any positive real number c, these two fs are satisfying the functional equations on the problem. Together with the first case, all the solutions of the problem are fs equal to 0, fs equal to c to the power of s, or fs equal to minus c to the power of s, which c is any positive real number. And there we are done.